A key factor in the digital activism gap is that groups that are more hierarchical rather than horizontal are more likely to use the internet. And this really overturns this sense that uh, groups and protest movements like Occupy Wall Street or other more horizontal movements uh, are really tethered to the internet. In fact, uh, the rise of a lot of these movements really rose in sync with the rise of, um, of digital technology. And if we really go back even farther, if we look at the, the launch of the World Wide Web over 30 years ago, really coincided with the tearing down of Soviet symbols and structures, right? The Berlin Wall came, was coming down at the exact same time that the internet was spreading. So we have in our psyche, right, this cultural connection to the rise of the internet as being this um, non-bureaucratic um, uh, technology that even uh, an early Apple commercial uh, showed this very Orwellian group of people sitting listening to some leader and in, this is 1984, right, in comes a woman with a sledgehammer and she swings it around and she throws it at the screen of this leader and Apple then says, you know, 1984 won't be like 1984 in reference to Orwell, right? So we have this really strong uh, belief that the internet is more horizontal and that out of those statues and walls crumbling will come the phoenix rising of the internet that will enable everyday people to participate online and certainly in some cases that's been the case. But what I found overall over time without just these spikes of uh, political protests is that groups that are more hierarchical, that have systems in place. And often this hierarchy goes in sync with systems. Really are able to, over the long term, engage and have high levels of online participation. Very much contrary to, you know, the image of a digital activist as a radical left uh, anarchist protester. It's much more likely to be uh, an older conservative um, uh, Tea Party member.